When we caught up with Kira Atkins today, she carried her graduation robe on her arm. But on Saturday, she will wear it when her name and title are called. So I'll have to introduce myself as Dr. Adkins. <laughs> At the age of 21, she makes history as the youngest person to enroll and complete the Medical University of South Carolina's pharmacy program. Kira says she became interested in health care when she traveled with her family on a mission trip. It was during that mission trip that I was able to do like a little bit of hands-on work, like helping to hand out eyeglasses, helped a little bit in the pharmacy, but not too much of like the real hands-on medical things, but being able to see that and being in the presence of it, it kind of sparked my interest. In then internships, job shadows, and personal observation led her to pharmacy as a career. She was 15 years old when she made that decision and a high school sophomore at Academic Magnet. I took it upon myself to look at all of the prerequisites that would be needed to go and apply to pharmacy school. She loaded her schedule with courses at local colleges. Plus, she kept a rigorous AP course load. She met all the requirements to apply straight to the Medical University of South Carolina's College of Pharmacy. She described meeting the dean of the college. So at the end of my interview day, I go into the room and I sit down with him. He has my file, so he's looking at my grades. And he's like, yeah, you've got good grades, you know. But you're pretty young, right? And I was like, yeah, yes, sir. I'm still in high school. And he was like, so how would you feel about starting a graduate program, skipping undergrad? What are your feelings on that? You know, at the time, I was just like, well, I'd, I'd like to try. I mean, I don't think there's any harm in trying. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work out, and I do something else. But best case scenario, it does work out, and, you know, here I am now. Dean Philip Hall told me he was impressed with Kira from the moment he met her. You know, in high school, during the summer, she's taking chemistries and uh, college courses while others are enjoying their summer their time off and so you know it just takes that extraordinary dedication and you know that's rare and photos prove that Kira is not alone on her path Kira was exposed to many different things whether it was education dance gymnastics she did it all so that she could say hey is this something I like or something I don't like and we say to parents allow your children to be exposed to many different things. Encourage parents to look and see what their children's natural gift sets look like and encourage them to grow in those areas. Let me ask you this, what will you call her when she comes home for a visit? Kira. <laughs> With the milestone within reach, Kira admits she encountered obstacles. I think the biggest obstacle probably for anybody is COVID. That was a complete switch in learning. You know, I was used to going on campus. Being at home, being virtual, I didn't get that social aspect anymore, and I really missed it. Do you believe that someone is able to accomplish what you've accomplished? Yes, anybody can do it. You just have to put your mind to it. Um, definitely was not easy. I don't want to put that out there that, oh yeah, it was so easy, breezy, lemon squeezy. It was not. <laughs> there are definitely hard moments. There's a lot of hard moments, but I think, again, finding that support network and finding your own drive to push through those hard moments is what gets you to do whatever you need to do, whatever you want to do. So I think anybody could do it for sure.